hey there everybody welcome back hopefully this video finds you well now today we don't have as much stuff to talk about but I think we've got some quality stuff so let's go ahead and start with our coffee and this is from Roman Goat Coffee Company and this is their house blend now we've done some of these back when we used to do the the, the shorter form coffee reviews on Mondays Mm, it's got a great smell to it. It really does. So this is a, they call this a city roast. To be honest, I'm not even sure what a city roast is, but it looks like it's sort of like light to mid. Uh, medium body and acidity. Uh, bright and balanced, nutty, with a smooth, clean finish. Three beans, two from the Americas and one from Africa, combined with two roast levels, creates this wonderfully balanced blend. So we've got three separate beans in here, so it's like a bean blend, and then there are two separate roasting levels, so looks like you've got roasts of, well, two different kinds. <laughs> uh, so, all right, well, here we go, Roman Goat. It's always been good in the past. The Highland Grog was actually really good, and uh, my brother, who you've seen on the channel, actually is like a huge Highland Grog guy. It's what he buys, the Roman Grog the roaming goat, Highland Grog, Highlander Grog, or whatever it is, that's his favorite. So here we go. Okay. All right. That's, that's solid. Wow. That's actually really solid. There's not a hint of bitterness in this. It is so smooth. It is so smooth. This and it, and it, well, here was another just an observational thing. When I was pouring it, I was super impressed by the color. Because every now and again we get some of these coffees that like have a really anemic color. No, this looks like a true cup of coffee. Uh, and you guys know, I don't add anything to it. This is just straight coffee from the French press into the cup. Man, I got to tell you, that is a good cup of coffee. Um, again, very smooth, pretty neutral flavor wise. This is something that I would say would excel as like a daily drinking coffee, just something in the morning, kick your day off. I don't care what it's like. Just let's go. It would be a huge step up from like every restaurant, you know, every diner coffee. This would be amazing. And Roaming Goat generally around here is in between like $7.99 to I think like $9.99 a bag. So like between $8 and $10 per bag. It might be more expensive than that sometimes, but that's generally what I buy it for here. So very good. Roaming Goat does it. Okay. I do love salty snacks. So this, now I've had, I've had these before in their regular form, just like standard form. So this is Snack Factory, Snack Factory <laughs> uh, Pretzel Crisps. And this is their, what do they specifically call it? Uh, everything. So it's just everything. It's like an everything bagel pretzel. And uh, I mean, I'm sure all of you have had their, their standard pretzels. They're like thin, crispy little pretzel-like chips. And I was never like blown away by them, but I've had them. But this... And everything, and that's one of my favorite bagels, is everything bagel. Look at that. It focuses. Look, I got like a little mat. Actually, you know what? That's a fantastic thumbnail. I wonder. I love that. I am Batman. <laughs> I might have just found a new profile picture there. It's really good. It's really good. Wow. Man, it's got uh, kind of an oniony, garlicky quality to it. Salty. Some of that that sesame seed in there. Not only did it probably give me a new uh, profile picture, but it's darn good. I will eat through this party size bag at another time. Mm. 
these with some French onion dip, they would be amazing. Amazing with some French onion dip. All right. So my last thing here is a bit of an oddball. So I'm sure some of you have probably get, been getting back in your offices and your buildings and everything. Maybe you've been partial schedules. Not everybody's working from home. So I've been back in office and one of our buildings likes to kind of encourage local businesses. So this was one of them. Now I'm pretty sure that these are, I don't think it says on here, but I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember looking them up and they were uh, a Columbus. Yeah, they are. So they're, they're Columbus area business. And it's, um, I'm not sure if it's M mellow or just mellow. So it's M M E L O. Um, uh, boutique confections so mellow boutique confections and this is their vegan dark chocolate blueberry mango bar I'm not, I'll, so there, there's their little label and I'm gonna take it off here and look at that look at what's in there so this contains uh, let's see 66% cocoa, dried blueberries, dried raspberries, mangoes, cocoa nibs, and edible flowers. Edible flowers. All right, here we go. That's a very interesting bit of packaging. Knife it. Okay. Edible flowers. I'm pretty sure I've eaten a flower before. Get out. Please get out of this package. It's all over. It's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Break off a piece of that. Okay. I'm going to get in the heart of this because I think this is one of those. I'm just going to nibble this edible flower. Yeah. I don't know. That might have been a raspberry. Or it might have been a flower. I'm not sure. It's really good. It's so good. I don't know if I've ever had vegan chocolate before, but that's just a darn good dark chocolate bar. Wow. Yeah, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free. I would have never guessed. It's crazy creamy. Like a, like a more expensive dark chocolate bar. It is really good. And uh, the little bit of like blueberry and mango and raspberry in there, it all goes together really, really well. That's a very pleasant chocolate bar. So if you're uh, if you're in the Columbus area, I mean they have a website too. I think you can just find them online. It's mmello.co. Check them out. I don't know anything about them. I just got a free candy bar one day. <laughs> so there we go. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, if you've tried any of these things let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear from you and leave me your suggestions you guys leave some really good suggestions from time to time and uh, yeah if you'd like to ever see something reviewed on the channel and want to send it in the PO box is in the description as well as the patreon link if you want to support the channel and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one see ya